Hey guys, it's Greg Alexander with Alexander the Greg Fishing, and I wanted to bring you a little bit of a different type of video today. Uh, some of you have seen the video where I lost my boat into the river for a period of time. It all worked out well, but it got me thinking about winter fishing or fishing alone in cold weather. And you know, every year we hear stories about people that it just don't come back. And I wouldn't want any of you all to ever be in that situation. So I wanted to give you a rundown on things that you can do to protect yourself from a potentially deadly situation while you're fishing. Now, I like to fish alone a lot. It's therapeutic for me. I really enjoy spending a lot of time alone in my boat. Now, I love to fish with partners also, but I like to fish alone. Um, fishing alone puts you in, you know, a little bit more dangerous situations sometimes than people who aren't fishing alone. If you fall in the water and you're by yourself and it's the winter time and you got your boots on, your pants, your long underwear, your jackets and all these heavy clothes and you're not wearing a life jacket and you're not really close to land somewhere or in shallow water, you're probably done for. So the first thing that you really need to have when you're fishing anytime really, but especially alone and especially in cold weather, would be a life jacket. Wear it all the time. Goes right along with your kill switch when you're driving a boat, if you get thrown out of the boat and uh, you don't have your kill switch on, you're, you're in, in big, big trouble, especially fishing by yourself and fishing in cold weather cold water especially. So understanding that you're fishing with your life jacket on in cold weather by yourself for sure. Nobody there to fish you out. If you fall in, you got to get back in the boat. Okay. If you're close enough to land that you can grab your boat and it's a little pull, you know, 20, 30 feet to get to the to shoreline, that's probably what you should do. If it's uh, a little bit farther out you don't have that option the best way to get back in your boat if you don't have a ladder which some boats have ladders attached to them that'd be the optimal situation is to get around the back of your boat that's the lowest section of your boat put your foot on the cavitation plate of your outboard motor and step up and pull yourself into the boat that's the best way to get in uh, once you get in the boat, if you're in 40 or 50 degree water and it's, you know, 30, 40, 50 degrees out and you're wet, hypothermia is going to come really quick. So the key to not getting hypothermia would be to get dry. So you got to get your clothes off. So what do you need? You need a dry pack in your boat, preferably all year, not necessarily in the hot weather, you don't have to have it. But any type of cool weather or cold weather, you need a dry pack in your boat. I always, year round, keep an extra rain gear in my boat. So that's going to be my outer clothes. But in the wintertime, you need a pair of wool socks, long underwear, insulated shirt, a towel, and a pair of gloves. You can get all that stuff off, get your clothes off quick, towel yourself off, get your dry clothes back on, get your spare set of rain gear on over top of it, unless you weren't fishing with your premium pair, then you would obviously put that on first. Get your gloves on, there's your dry pack. Take a second, get your little Hot hands, hotties, they even make body size ones. Pull two or three or four of these out, expose them to the air, shake them in the air, get them in your pockets, rub them in your hands, stick them in your gloves, right, to get yourself warmed up. Next thing you definitely need to be set up for, don't have this in your pocket when you're fishing in the wintertime, because if you go in a drink, your communication line is done and over with. I never fish with my cell phone in my pocket any time of the year 
partially for that reason. Other reason is I just don't like that extra weight on me while I'm fishing. Put it in your glove box, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in your coin box, someplace you gotta keep this dry so that if you get yourself in an emergency situation, 911 is one blip away or whoever you're calling that you know can help you, but 911 preferably. Uh, cell phone. Once you've gotten dry, once you've contacted somebody, if you need to contact somebody, which would be to, you know, get yourself dry before you do this, unless you just want to hit 911, set it down, put it on speakerphone and start getting dressed. You could do that also. Uh, very important thing a lot of people don't do. I do it in the wintertime when I'm fishing by myself or if I just know I got a cold, cold tournament. I take one of these. This is a gas heater. Self-igniting, run for hours and hours and hours. That can get you warm. Now, let's just talk about this for a second. This will not run in the wind. It will blow out every time. But if you have a console in your boat and you put it under your console, it will light and stay lit up and you can get yourself, your feet, and your hands warmed back up with that little heater. You can get one of these just about anywhere, you know, whatever sporting goods area you have around your place or Walmart or, or, or just about any place. They're not expensive. I think I paid 79 bucks for this one. And uh, I use it all the time uh, for situations when I'm, when I'm fishing. Sometimes if I'm just fishing in the cold weather uh, and the wind's not blowing, I'll set it on the deck by my feet while I'm fishing just to keep myself warm. So it has a lot of uses. So uh, the dry bag, extra rain gear, extra, extra boots would be great too. Uh, and one thing I want to talk about with the dry bag, if you're damp, you need big clothes. You don't need, you know, tight fitting clothes. You're going to have a hard time getting them on, especially gloves. I actually use for my backup. I use a pair of mitts because if your hands are clammy, I can't get my hands into a lot of gloves if my hands are clammy. But those mitts I can get my hands into, plus they keep it warmer. And then you can just drop one of those hot hands right into the mitt. You know, it, it, it'll, it'll get right there in your palm and you can just hold it right there where it, it needs to be. So I don't want your winter fishing trip to be your last winter fishing trip. So things like this need to be considered. I mean, we're all, you know, gung-ho about going fishing and we get a good day and it's 65 degrees and we're thinking, I'm gonna go fishing, it's nice and sunny. And you don't think about these things and you get yourself in a bad situation. Now, if you're fishing, you know, less than five minutes from the boat ramp, you probably could get back in time before hypothermia sets in too bad. But either way, you need to have that emergency kit in your boat so that you can live to fish another day. So today I just wanted to bring you that little quick video. I don't know, you know, many of you probably have thought about this. Many of you have it. So if I can help one person uh, from getting themselves in this situation, then that this video has done its job. So anyhow, if you like my content, my instructional videos, some of these other common sense videos that I put up or some funny stories that I may have, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. I'll be bringing videos as they, as they become relevant on the pre-spawn, the spawn, the post-spawn, different techniques and whatnot coming up. And uh, I hope you enjoy them as I bring them to you. Thank you and have a great day.